Hello everyone, how are y'all doing today? I hope y'all are having a blessed day on today. Today we are making some liver and onion. I'm going to show y'all how to make it just a plain uh, fried liver and, and, and onion. And then I'm going to show y'all how to make my gravy. Okay, here as y'all can see, I have my liver in this bowl. And I also have some onions. I have some salt. I have some garlic powder. And I have some black pepper. Okay. And if you want to add onion powder, you can. Let's get to making our liver and onions. I'm ready to season my liver. I'm going to add a little salt. It's up to you how much seasoning you want to use. I'm going to add. This is kosher salt, y'all. This is kosher salt. Okay. And I'm adding some garlic powder. And some black pepper. Okay, I'm gonna mix this up, y'all. Mix this up. Okay, I have uh, washed my liver off. To wash your liver off, all you have to do is just um, run it under some water and add a little salt to it and rinse it off. Okay. Okay, here I'm getting ready to tenderize my liver. What I'm going to do, I'm putting it in a bag. I'm going to lay it in this Ziploc bag. You have to put it in something like this, y'all, or you're going to get splattered with the tenderizing tool. Okay, I'm going to put this, okay, and I'm going to zip this up, let me I'm gonna rinse my hands up, make sure you got all the air out, and I'm just going to beat it, y'all, I got this little tool, I'm going to beat this liver, to make it tender. Okay, in this pan, what I'm doing now is I'm adding some oil, putting a little oil in here, and I'm going to saute my onions first, okay? Hey, okay. I'm going to let this oil heat up, and then I'm going to add my onions. Okay, y'all, now I'm getting ready to saute these onions. It's up to you how many onions that you want. I'm just going to put maybe that much. Okay, what I'm doing, we make sure that these onions get tender. And another thing what I'm doing is getting that onion flavor in my oil that I'm going to fry my liver in okay I'm gonna saute these up for a couple of minutes and I'm gonna be right back okay as y'all can see my onions are are still sauteing while I'm what I'm doing now while those are sauteing y'all remember when I put my seasonings in my meat before I tenderize them the reason why I did that because I want to beat the uh the seasoning in it after you uh tenderizing you can add your seasoning then but I prefer to to go ahead and put my season in there and then uh, tenderize my liver what okay. I'm doing now let y'all see what I'm doing I got my flour here I'm gonna put my liver y'all it is well tenderized y'all well tenderized Okay. Coat it with my flour. And I'm going to put it over here on my plate. Put it over there. Do this one like that. Okay. 
I'm going to finish doing that and we're going to get to our onions. Okay, here, okay, here I'm removing my onions. Removing those out. Okay, and you can brown these, you can have them brown or you can have them halfway brown. It's the way you want yours. See, this is the way I, I prefer mine like this, okay? Let me put my oil back over here. Yeah, getting ready to fry up. I think I'm going to add just a little bit more oil. Just a little bit. And a little bit more oil to this. Okay. Y'all, this smells good in here. Here I'm adding my liver. Okay. Turn my heat back up. We don't want to cook our liver too fast, okay? That's the thing about it. We don't want to cook our liver too fast. Cause we want we want all our flavor in this in our liver and so we don't want to cook our liver too fast okay I got my stove on like six I have it on like six and so I don't want it to cook very fast okay okay at this time what I what you should do this how you can tell if your liver Is ready on that side okay this is how you can tell if your liver is ready okay this is what you do you look look at the side see I know that's not ready so I'm gonna leave that there it's not ready Because we're going to finish cooking it regardless because it's going to have to steam a little bit with our onion. So uh, we want to get this, you know, pretty well done. I'm going to say it like that. We want it pretty well done. Okay, we want to cook our liver at least two to three minutes on each side. I'll say three minutes on each side. Okay. Y'all see how I had them brown? Because the thing about liver, you can cook it too long and it'll get tough. And so we don't want our liver tough. See how them brown? Okay, that's the way it should look. You should let it at least cook at least two and a half to three minutes on each side. Okay, we're going to let our liver cook at least a couple of minutes on the other side. And then we're going to remove okay, it from the heat. Okay, my liver has been cooking for two minutes on, on the other side. I'm going to show y'all how it looks. Y'all see how it looks? And that's the way it's supposed to look. You shouldn't see any sign of redness, okay? I'm going to remove my liver now. You know, some people even eat their liver rare. I don't want mine rare, but it's up to you the way you want to cook your liver. Okay, y'all, I'm, I'm getting ready to remove this oil, and I'm going to be right back. Okay, I have cleaned my uh, skillet. Now I'm getting ready to. Now I'm going to put my liver back into to my skillet, okay? I got my heat down very, very low. Okay, here's what I'm doing. 
Okay, put my liver there. And I'm going to add just the, maybe three tablespoons of water. Maybe three. Because I don't want meat to be dry. I didn't want I don't want it to be dry. Okay, like I said, add your little water to it that you can see it's sizzling. And I got this down low. I got my heat down low. And so now what I'm doing, I'm adding my onions to it. Like I say, it's up to you how many onions you want. It's up to you how many onions you want in your liver. Okay, I'm going to turn it on simmer. Just leave it on low for maybe a couple of minutes. Two to three minutes. Cover it. And you're ready. You're good to go. This is my liver and onions. You can cover this or leave it uncovered for a couple of minutes. It's not, it's, it's already done. So all, all I'm doing now is just getting this flavor. The flavor is already in it. Remember the onions. We cooked the onions in the oil which we cooked the liver in. So that's it. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to cover this and I'm going to make a little gravy. Now I'm making my gravy. This is optional. I'm, you, I'm doing this because I'm making some uh, buttered rice to go along with my liver and onion. So right now I'm making my gravy. I'm going to use the same oil. Some of the same oil that I, I don't want to put, okay, I'm using the same oil that I fried my liver in, okay, I got some onions, you don't, do not have to do this, this is something I, I will have, I had some leftover onions, you do not have to do, remember the onion is already in the all. Okay? The onion seasoning. And I'm going to add just a little bit more oil to go along with this. Because I got quite a bit of rice. Okay? When these begin to saute, I'm going to be right. Okay, as you see, the onions are getting tender and y'all what I'm doing I'm making some instant rice I'm not making those the rice just the rice from scratch as y'all can see here my water is boiling the instant rice if you don't know how to make the, the regular rice use the instant just, just make the instant okay if you don't know how to, to make the you know the regular rice and so as y'all can see my water and my, my salt water and butter is boiling. I'm going to turn this off because all you do and you're required to do is just boil it and then add your rice to it. Add your rice. Okay, as y'all see right there, see? Bring it out a little bit. Okay. That's all, that's all to instant rice. You do the equal cup. If you have two cups of rice, use two cups of water. You boil two cups of water. If you want four cups of rice, boil four cups of water. Okay? That's how it goes. I'm going to cover this. It is so simple. Instant rice is so simple to make. I'm going to put the cover on that and I'm going to, I'm going to put it, I'm going to move it over to the side and just forget about it. Okay? Okay. Let's get back over here to our gravy. Okay, get back to our gravy. Okay, I just removed it from the heat because I'm not ready to. I'm, I'm going to add some flour to this. It's the way you do, you add some flour. It all depends on how much gravy you're making. If you're just making a half a cup of... Uh, if you make it like a cup of gravy, 
You just use a half a cup of flour. But I got more. I'm using more, y'all. Now let me set it back over here. Let me take it back over here to the heat. It's up to you. I'm going to show you how your uh, flowers and onions supposed to look. This is how it's supposed to look. So what I'm doing now, I'm going to let this flower brown. It's just like making a root. I'm going to let this cook until it brown and I'm going to be right back. Okay, as y'all can see, look down in there. Let me. Y'all see that the gravy is browning? Y'all just let it just cook. Just let it just cook, cook, cook until it gets to the desi desired color that you want. See? See how it's getting darker? Because I got it like on medium high heat. Okay. As y'all can see, uh, how dark this has gotten, what I'm going to do now, some people add chicken broth, but I'm not going to add chicken broth. I'm just going to add water. I'm going to add a little water to mine. Because this is going to thicken up. This is going to thicken up. Add a little bit more. As y'all see, it's thickening. It's, it all depends on how thick you want yours. You want your gravy. Okay? And sometimes, y'all, I remove those onions. And sometimes, I don't. It's up to you. If you want those brown onions in there, you can, but... I may end up taking mine out, but it's up to you. But you do that. You you take the onions out after after uh, they have sautéed it. Okay, you can remove them then. Okay. I think I'm gonna let mine. This I'm gonna let this be thick. This is gonna be a thick gravy for me. Yeah. If you don't want your, y'all see how thick it is? If you don't want yours that thick, or if you want yours thicker, don't put as much water. Okay, I'm going to add a little salt. I'm going to add a little salt to it. And some black pepper. Okay, and you taste it. You taste yours to see if it has enough salt. Don't put too much salt. Remember, the liver has salt in it, so don't put. I just stress a lot of, uh, on that salt. I, I, I must tell you not to use a whole lot of salt. Okay. Okay, that's the way I want it, and this is my gravy. This is it. I done turned my heat off. And I'm getting ready to plate up my food. Okay? I'll be right back. Okay, as y'all can see, I got everything ready. I got my liver. I got my um, liver and onion. And I got my gravy and my rice ready. And so I'm getting ready to plate this up. I'm going to have other things to go with this, but I'm just showing y'all a plate of my liver and onion, okay? 
Okay, I'm putting my rice on here. Okay, with that rice, you only have to let it, the instant rice, you only have to let it sit for five minutes, y'all. Five minutes. And that's it. Okay. Now, I'm going to put my liver on here. Y'all, so I'm, I'm just making this as a thumbnail. I'm just using this as a thumbnail. I'm not eating all of this. No. Nope. I'm just showing y'all this. Okay. Can y'all see it? Real good. Okay. Now, I'm going to add my gravy. Some gravy over my rice. Okay, there it is, y'all. This is my liver, liver and onion, and my rice and gravy. Okay, I want y'all to see it real good. Okay, y'all, well, I'm getting ready to close. And this is a request from a somebody named Panda. Panda, I finally got to it. I finally got to the liver and onions. I'm showing you the way that I make mine. Okay, well, y'all, there's my rice and gravy. Well, y'all, I want y'all to have a blessed day. And bye-bye for now.